Phonics medium voltage protections have a common and handy interface that allow us setting up and configuring the device both by their human machine interface or by communications with the communication program SICOM. Depends on the relay model, we will dispose a serial RS-232 with DB9 connector or a USB port. In this case, I dispose a RS-232 port so that I will use an USB to RS-232 converter. SICOM program will communicate with the relay through the local port using Modbus protocol and direction 1 and using the rear RS-485 port with RS-485 to RS-232 converter and the direction 3. Following we will see how is the navigation through the menus. The standby screen shows the model and the measurements. Models with backlight will light the screen with the press of any key. We enter into the menu by pressing OK, passing through a cyclic menu that will show measurements, states, settings, events, counters, commands, demand, and fault reports. At any moment we are able to come back to the standby screen by pressing C key. From the standby screen there are available some shortcuts by pressing direction arrows. By pressing left arrow, we can access to the fault reports. Holding down the same arrow key we will access to the contrast menu. By pressing the right key we can access to the date and time screen. Holding down the up arrow key we will accede to the firmware revision of the relay. And holding down the down key we will receive the communication parameters from both local and rear ports. We shall communicate the relay with the communication program Cyclum. We start the communication with Cyclum using Modbus address 1 and pressing start. We enter Phonox password 5 